Inadequate water, sanitation and hygiene, wash, remain critical problems worldwide. More than 2 billion people lack easy access to clean water. Fecally contaminated water causes diarrheal disease, which contributes to child undernutrition and an estimated million deaths a year worldwide. To encourage safe practices, appropriate conditions are needed, for example, in infrastructure. In many countries, such infrastructure is poor. Water needs treatment at home. Even where more advanced technologies exist, preventative actions are needed to avoid recontamination. Enduring wash behaviour change remains a challenge. Efforts to change behaviour usually start with the assumption that internal processes cause behavioural change. Examples include raising awareness or changing attitudes by providing information about health risks or benefits through various means. However, knowing the facts is rarely enough. The science of behaviour analysis studies how behaviour is influenced by its context. The focus is on examining conditions in which behaviour occurs, including events that precede it, antecedents, and events that follow it, consequences. This antecedent behaviour consequence relationship is called the three-term contingency. Information is an important antecedent and may yield some success in influencing changes in behaviour. However, other antecedents need consideration. Places where only untreated water is readily available, or seeing other people drinking untreated water, also increases the chances of unsafe behaviour. Robust wash systems should be a priority, because they are key antecedents for appropriate behaviour. When safe water is available, drinking it is easy. With complex behaviours, a step-by-step -step breakdown helps identify where problems are. This is called task analysis and provides an intervention focus. Like other behaviours, wash practices, safe or unsafe, are influenced by consequences. Consequences that make any behaviour more likely to reoccur are called reinforcers. Unsafe practices often are strongly reinforced because of short-term consequences. For example, by drinking untreated water, one quenches thirst and avoids the hassles of boiling water, saving fuel and time. Unsafe practices often have other delayed consequences, such as illness, However, because they are delayed, they often have little effect on behaviour. Healthy behaviours too need reinforcing consequences if they are to last. A major difficulty is that many instances of healthy behaviours are needed for noticeable improvements, such as in weight loss. When beneficial consequences are delayed or infrequent, they have less effect on behaviour. Another problem is that the consequence for many healthy behaviours is the avoidance of invisible dangers, such as viruses. Because the reasons to act are unclear, it is difficult to see beneficial consequences for that behaviour. Additional reinforcers, such as feedback or attention, can be delivered more quickly to strengthen desired behaviours. People can learn to collect data about their own behaviour. Visualising that data can encourage them to keep up the good work and help identify risky situations. Devices can be designed creatively in a funny or useful way so that using them is more reinforcing. Eventually, some reinforcers are discontinued because the goal is for behaviour to be maintained through naturally occurring reinforcers, such as staying healthy or being appreciated by others. Without adequate infrastructure, WASH interventions will continue to depend on human actions. Reinforcing consequences are needed to maintain those actions, especially after field workers leave. As well as devices with appealing functions, other interventions to help sustain positive behaviour include local wash groups which can provide fun and social reinforcement. However, the effect of consequences varies and fades. Multiple interventions and techniques are likely to be needed at different times to maintain behaviours. Inadequate water, sanitation and hygiene is a reality for around a quarter of the global population. A science of behaviour can help us find ways to make our lives safer.